to create a new document, you could either go to File, New, or you can use the shortcut key Control N. That'll open a dialog here so that you can choose your image properties. The main part we're gonna look at here is the image size area. This is where we're gonna change the dimensions for our image. We can do that through different units. That could be pixels, inches, centimeters. All the options are under this drop down. The most common one to use is pixels. The, if you're working entirely in digital, meaning for like the web or social media, the PPI, which is pixels per inch, really doesn't matter that much. The only time it really matters is when you're using a unit other than pixels or you want to print it out. And at the top, we have a drop down for predefined dimensions. So these are saved. They come with Krita and when you select it, it changes the dimensions, the settings for the image. And you can create your own if you use one that's, if there are dimensions that you use frequently, then you could save them yourself. So for example, I have four up here that I use. This one here, I named it Instagram, but it's just a square. And it's nine inches by nine inches at 300 pixels per inch. And that's 2,700 pixels for both the width and the height. So to create one, once you have your dimensions, let's say we want to do 3,000, then we just come over here and choose a name for it and hit save. And then you'll be able to find it in the drop down. Another thing here too is keyboard accessibility. So you might notice here that there are underlined letters for some of the labels. So for name, the N is underlined. And that means if you press Alt N, then it'll highlight or it'll bring focus to that field. So over and with the I is highlighted. So if we press Alt I, it brings focus to the width field. Okay, moving over to the content tab, the settings here are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the layers option, that's how many layers you're gonna start out with when you create your document. The only thing that might be confusing is the background setting. So we have either as first layer or as canvas color. The difference is that if you choose as first layer, then the first layer will act as the background and you'll actually be able to erase away the background color. If you choose as canvas color, then you won't be able to erase away the background color. And it'll be like picking up a red piece of paper and drawing on it. 